What up, world? It's your boy Shy, aka Mr. Digital of B3-K.com, and I'm here hitting you with another tutorial. This one is about how to make your own 808 in Logix ES2. I get a lot of questions about how do I get that Lex Luger drum? Where do I get that Lex Luger 808 from? Or where do I get that Mike Will 808 from? Well, I want you guys to know that you can make your own 808 and you can make it as crazy as you want to make it. So let's jump right into it. Here, I have a beat I was working on that has no kicks and no 808. Take a listen real quick. So as you can see, there's no kick, no 808. So I already have a track set up for it. So I'm going to slide down here and go to 808. Now, what we're going to do first is we're going to load up the ES2 synthesizer. Now that that's here, we want to make sure that we have a saw wave. Um, I like to use the uh, analog saw init, which is inside tutorial settings analog saw init which is number four from the top uh, because it's closer to our desired result we want to get to our desired result pretty quickly so it's the closest one without having to change too many parameters the next thing we need to do is we need to turn this into mono as in mono monophonic uh, rather than leaving it on poly as in polyphonic we want to change it because 808s need to cut 808s off. If you have it in poly, then you're, you're going to be able to play more than one note at a time, which is going to have the notes running against each other. So you want to be able to uh, cut the notes off, cut the, yeah, cut the notes off as they're playing. So you turn it to monophonic so that you can cut the note off. So it's only one note at a time playing. Um, the next step is to turn this into a sine wave so that you have a nice smooth wave to work with. Now you want to come down here to your via where it says mod wheel and turn it off. You also want to turn this slider all the way up. Very important and I'll show you why in a second. The next thing you want to do for your source is turn it to envelope one. Okay now everything is set up. Uh, you come over here, and I'm going to actually show you why that slider is so important. This is your decay. This is the dive that the sound... Well, let me let you, let you hear. See that dive? That dive is created by this slider right here. Without that dive, you cannot really create an effective punch on the front of your 808. So if I bring this down here, all the way to 24 milliseconds, anywhere between 24 and uh, 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 27 is pretty good. See how you have that punching sound on the front of it? It allows for it to, because we because we've re reduced the time that it takes for that dive to get to the actual note we've created a punch we've condensed all of that dive into just a punch now if you don't slide this up you don't get a punch so very important that you make sure that you slide that up uh the next thing you want to do is Make sure that this this 808 has a ring to it. So you want to uh, you want it to resonate a little bit more. So instead of it being down here nice and short, you want it to be a little bit longer. You boost that up to maybe about 2,500 milliseconds, and now you get that ring. Now you could just go ahead and take this 808 right here and go ahead and start you know, having fun with it. But what I like to do to give it a little bit more excitement is add some distortion. 
distortion allows for some of the other harmonics that, you know, without distortion are not there to be heard in, in, in higher registers. So if you have smaller sets of speakers, you're not going to be able to hear uh, a sub, a sub bass. So you push this up so it allows for you to be able to hear some of those harmonics. You'll get some of that ring up in the higher registers. Now let's check it out. Sounds good, right? All right, let's go ahead and see what it sounds like uh, with our track here. I'm gonna go ahead and um, actually lay this down as uh, I'm doing this tutorial. So check it out. up on one of those notes there but it came out pretty crazy nonetheless uh let's go ahead and take a listen after i quantize it real quick so you can actually really hear what it sounds like um i'm not quite sure if uh, some of those hits are going to quantize like i want them to but i want you guys to get the gist of what this really sounds like and uh, i already have my other kick set up uh which is my front kick right here so i'm gonna go ahead and just copy that over to the next track right there and uh, let's see what it sounds like now. crazy right now get out there and have some fun people because I, I know you guys are itching to try it out right now so this is once again but another tutorial by b3-k.com check us out come through and check out some of our other tutorials go ahead and like uh go ahead and rate go ahead and subscribe thank you for watching the video and um peace i'll see y'all next time